If you're in sales and marketing, right, and you're struggling a bit, then I can tell you probably one of the reasons you are not doing as well as you hoped is because you're not asking for the order. I mean, I find it absolutely amazing how many people can go through the most unbelievable sales presentation, okay, but not ask for the order. The customer's going to sign, that's for sure, right? But they're not going to do that. You need to ask for the order. And if you have a problem with that, then let me share with you a couple of simple solutions, right? My name is Peter Beckett. I'm the village marketer from PeterBeckham.com. And let me tell you, you're not alone. So many sales are lost. In fact, I'd say nearly all of them are lost if you don't ask for the order. And here's some simple ways to get around that mindset problem you have about asking for the order, right? I mean, try this particular question. Which payment option would you like, sir? Would you like this one or this one? The down payment is normally 10%. Now, some people pay more than that, some people pay less. Which one suits you, sir? One of the ones I really like is this. Would you like it delivered, sir? Or would you like to come and pick it up yourself? I love that one. And this one. Wouldn't you agree that, that it's really the best time to start saving money on our product would be right now? Whatever your closing question is, Get used to asking it right. Ask the question and then shut up. Don't say another word. The next person who speaks loses, right? Well, it's a bit harsh to put it that way. But put it this way. You put your closing question in there and then wait for the customer to answer, right? Because, hey, they might say yes. There you go. Now, if all these things are too difficult for you, you feel uncomfortable about asking for the order, closing the sale, you feel that the whole issue with sales and marketing is not your thing, let me tell you two things. First of all, every business, and especially a business online, has to do some selling. Okay, Someone's got to do it for you. If you're not going to do it, someone has to. If you feel uncomfortable with that and you're trying to run a business online, then you're going to fail. So the second thing I'll tell you this. There's a link near this video. Go and check it out. These people will do all the selling for you. All you need to do, right, is to follow their training and their guidelines to build and set up your business online. And they will do all the selling for you and send you the commission checks. Yep. Does it sound better for you? Go and check the link out. See what you, see what you think, all right? This is a really good opportunity. It's world-class training, fantastic support, really world-class products, and you don't do any selling at all. If that sounds good to you, go and click the link and find out. I can tell you, I guarantee it, because I've done the same thing myself and I use that system. Okay, all the best for now. Click the link. Okay, bye.